Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The Pioneer Valley Interscholastic Athletic Conference and Greenfield High School welcome you to Veterans Memorial Field. This is the 2023 PBIAC Western Mass High School Baseball Tournament. Today's Western Mass Class C Championship game features the Red Hawks of Frontier Regional School of South Deerfield and the Vikings of Smith Vocational High School of Northampton. The PVIAC would like to thank Pioneer Valley Financial for its support throughout our Western Mass tournaments and for providing our championship trophies. Participating student athletes, coaches, and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's competition, so please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance today. Ensure that your behavior reflects the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your own behavior and the behavior of those around you. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion will not be tolerated. It could subject the violator to ejection and may result in penalties assessed against your team. Thank you. We appreciate your cooperation. If you require any assistance, please call upon an MIAA, school, or security official. Our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. Especially this week, the week of Memorial Day yesterday, if there are veterans or current military personnel in attendance with us this afternoon, we invite you now to please stand and be recognized, and we thank you for your service to our country. Let's meet our Western Mass Class C Baseball finalists. We'll begin with our designated visiting team in the first base dugout, wearing the navy blue with the white, the number three seed in Class C with a record of 14 and six, the Frontier Red Hawks. First, the Frontier Reserves, and gentlemen for both teams, as I call your names, please run out to the baselines in front of your benches. The Frontier Reserves, number three, Gabe Saladki. Number four, Jack Conlin. Number eight, Aiden Heffernan. Number 10, Austin Durso. Number 13, Porter Hall. Number 18, Jesse Dubril. Number 20, Aiden West. Number 23, Uriah Jeness. And number 25, Max Skrabisky Bannock. Now for Frontier's starting lineup. The second baseman, number 11, Alex Skuczynski. Shortstop, number one, Nico Fasulo. Third baseman, number nine, Grayson Luce. The first baseman, number two, Tyler Cusson. The pitcher, number 22, Liam Skrabisky Bannett. Left fielder, number 15, Wyatt Eads. The designated hitter, number 21, Ethan Bryant. Center fielder, number 7, Miles Ferreira. The right fielder, number 5, Brady Pareda. And the catcher, number 6, Caden James. The assistant coach is Brad Bean. The head coach of the Red Hawks is Chris Williams. Now let's meet our designated home team occupying the third base dugout in the black with gold and white. The top seed in Class C with a record of 19 and 1, the Smith Vocational Vikings. First, the Smith Vote Reserves. Number one, Dawson Kelly. Number 12, Chris Alexander. Number 20, Justin Porter. Number 22, Caleb Jaretzma. Number 42, Braden Kukuka. And number 44, Tyler Carlson. 
Now for the Vikings starting lineup. The pitcher, number 32, Marshall Ingram. Shortstop, number eight, Roscoe Palmer. The third baseman, number 23, Kalen Finney. The catcher, number two, Caden Payne. First baseman, number 10, James LaValle. The left fielder, number three, Pat Millen. Second baseman, number 17, Jared Bear. Right fielder, number six, Zach Bramucci. And the center fielder, number 11, Carter Blanchett. The assistant coach is Nate Bergeron. The head coach of the Vikings is Luis Bonilla. The umpires for our Western Mass Class C Championship are Steve Wall, Andy Rogers, and B.J. Guerin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you all please rise, remove your caps, as we honor America this afternoon with our national anthem. Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and Mason Smith, as well as Kevin Murphy here at the uh, Veterans Field. It's going to be a great game today. Uh, Frontier, they are 16 and 4 on the season. And uh, the uh, Vikings, they're the number one seed, and they are uh, 19 and 1. Uh, Frontier being the third seed. Um, so the Western Mass Class C uh, final. So hopefully it'll be a great game today, Mason. Oh yeah, I'm sure it will be, Tom. Heard a lot of confidence from both teams going into this, and Frontier's going to be up to bat first after a short warm up by the Vikings. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens here in this one. Yeah, it's a great weather day for it too. Yeah. Nice cool breeze, a lot of sun. I don't think I see a single cloud out here. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> totally right. It's beautiful. Yeah. And the field's looking real nice, too. Now up to bat first for the Red Hawks, we've got Alex Gochinski, second baseman. Leading off for Frontier in the top of the first inning. Second baseman, number 11, Alex Gochinski. Yeah, he's, he's been an excellent hitter all season for Frontier in the leadoff spot, so. First pitch from Marshall Ingram is going to be a ball. A little bit high, it looked like. Swing, looked like he tipped it. That's going to be strike one. Hey, 
swinging a hit out to the left field. And it's going to hit the ground. Gochinsky's going to get to first. Nice. Nice leadoff uh, single there for uh, Alex Gochinsky to start the Hawks here. And now up to bat we have Nico Fasulo. High pitch, way above his head. That's ball one. Yeah, Fasulo, his uh, batting average is 367, so that's pretty good for the season. Yeah. Swing. Tipped it, it's going to go over the backstop. That's one and one. Same thing that happened for Gochinski. Yeah. And now here's the third pitch. Well, not quite yet. <laughs> yeah, they call time there. Yeah. Low and inside, looks like it almost hit his shoe. Swing and a hit. Center field, and he's under it. That's out one. Yeah, out number one there. Third baseman, number nine, Grayson Luce. There you go, Grayson Luce, he's the batter. Foul tip there. Grounder over to third, but it goes foul, so. Yep. Frontier still got a runner on first. One out. Swing and almost hit a window at the building behind us. Yeah. Good job staying alive, though, by uh, Loose there. Yeah. So no two count. Swing and a miss, strike three. Caught swinging. First baseman, number two, Tyler Cusson. So now it's Cusson up to bat. Got two outs. There's ball one. Cousin has a 309 batting average this season. There's another high one. It's not bad for a batting average at all. No. Good hitters count here. Especially when you got runners on base. Strike one. Got him looking. <laughs> Ingram's pitch. Fouled out. Yeah, that's going to even up, though. Two and two now. So you got to protect. Mm hmm. Chinsky taking a bit of a lead here. Ball three, we got a full count. <laughs> yeah. 
Three, two, full count. Two outs. Man on first. Already in a nice tense situation. Popped up. Catcher trying to get to it. But it's going to go over the backstop. Yeah. Still a 3 2 count, though, but yeah. good job by Tyler Cussins battling here. Pitch from Ingram. Swung and missed. He got him. Yeah, so. That'll be the end of the top of the first. And we're going to be back in just a few moments with the bottom of the second, Smith Volk batting. Bottom of the first. Bottom of the first. What did I say? <laughs> bottom of the second. Jesus. Three. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. <laughs> Tom Albert Mason Smith <laughs> and uh, Kevin Murphy. Hopefully you could hear us there. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's going to be Marshall uh, Ingram <laughs> leading off here against uh, Liam Skrabisky. Swung on the first pitch. So that'll be strike one. Can't tell if he tipped it or not. So we're starting off with a fun little pitcher against pitcher. Oh yeah, the mono -y mono I like to call it. <laughs> Swing tipped back behind the backstop. It's... Oh, and two now. Ingram being nice and aggressive to start this game off for the Vikings. Yeah, he's looking to lead off just like Frontier did. Oh, and there's a hit. Right field. And Pereira's going to get under it. Yeah, that was a nice catch by uh, Brady Pereira there. Fly out to uh, right field to start the inning for the Vikings. Shortstop, number eight, Roscoe Palmer. There you go. They they said it. Roscoe, <laughs> yeah. Roscoe Palmer. <laughs> the, it's going to be the batter there. <laughs> Got a nice easy day ahead of us, you know. Just call the pitches and that's it. And that right there swung out over the backstop. A lot of that happening. Yeah. Ooh. Called strike there. So now it's another 0 2 for Skrubisky Bannock. There's a grounder. Gets between third base and shortstop. And Palmer's going to get to first. Yeah, so a grounder just right into left field. And lead off single there for uh, Palmer. The third baseman, number 23, Kalen Finney. It is, in fact, Kalen Finney up to bat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a lot of repeating today. Yeah. High inside. That'll be ball one. Swing by Finney. It's going to give him strike one. So that's a one and one count. And he's great <laughs> awareness right there by Palmer. Stealing second. Throw by James wasn't in time. Yeah, that, that'll give a man in scoring position. So it's still 1-1 against Finney. 
fouled into the backstop. So now we got a one and two. So now the Vikings have a man on second. Only one out right now. Ooh. Two outs. Yeah, as Kalen Finney strikes out looking there by, by a nice off speed, off speed from uh, William Skrubisky Bannock. Yeah, that one dropped Number a lot. Two, Payne. Yeah, so Caden Payne, uh, shortstop is the batter. Skrubisky Bannock trying to shorten the lead. Palmer's taken at second. Oh no, sorry, the catcher. I don't know why I said shorts up. <laughs> Ball is going to get away from James, but not enough that Palmer is going to take third. So it'll just be ball one. Risky steps off the mound there. Yeah. Looks like Palmer's got him worried. He's taking some big leads out there. Yeah. Swing and a hit. It's going to go to center. They aren't going to get to it in time, and it's going to be an RBI. RBI single for Caden Payne. <laughs> You can hear that uh, <laughs> the Vikings are exciting from, oh, oh, yeah. excited from that. Number 10, James LaValle. Yeah, so an RBI single there to right field from uh, Caden Payne. Give the score one to nothing. Lead to Smith Boak. Swing and another hit to right field. Pareda is going to get under it, and that's going to end the first inning. Yeah. Damage done, though, so Smith Vogue oh, big yeah. on top, one to nothing there. After a the nice inning, RBI first there. One run, two hits, no errors, one man left. After one complete, Vikings one, Red Hawks nothing. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll go to the top of the second inning. You're watching Frontier Team Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, and Kevin Murphy. Number 22, Liam Stravisky So, uh, yeah, the score's one to nothing. Smith Voke scores one in the bottom of the first inning. And Frontier, they look to uh, get that one back. There's strike one against Stravisky Bannock. Mano Imano again. Yeah. That one's going to be a ball. Yeah, good eye. Ingram's already got two strikeouts in the game so far. Yeah. Pop fly. Looks like it's going to the third baseman. And it will. There's out number one. All right. And it looks like uh, Wyatt Eads is going to be the batter for Frontier. Left fielder. The left fielder, number 15, Wyatt E. See, now he's repeating us. Yeah. <laughs> Low pitch outside, going to be ball one. Same thing, ball two. Definitely windy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh boy. What a great play there. 
by the first baseman, James LaValle. Laying out for that grounder. Yeah, I mean, that, that was an outstanding play. He just <laughs> dove on. I thought it was going to get through at first. Yeah. Designated hitter, number 21, Ethan Bryant. So, yeah, that's, I believe, uh, Bryant's hitting instead of Caden James, the catcher. Yeah, he's DHing for him. Mm -hmm. and there's strike one on him. Vikings doing really well so far in this top of the inning. Oh, and there's a pop fly. Catcher running for it, and it's going to go out of play. It looks like strike two, though. I think Brian, he has a... Uh 268 batting average and uh, 693 on base percentage, so that's not bad at all. No, not at all. He's got two outs on him, though, and two strikes. Yeah, he's got to try to get something going here. Wonder if we'll see some off-speed pitch here. Yeah. 0-2 pitch from Ingram. Outside, ball one. There's a deep hit. Center field, they aren't going to get to it in time. Oh, he's going to take off Ryan the going to second. Oh, my God. They didn't get him. Yeah, I think if uh, Roscoe Palmer, he he caught it there, I think he would have had Ethan Bryan at second, but yeah. he just dropped it. So Without a doubt, he would have. The center fielder, number seven, Miles Ferreira. Regardless, that's a double for Ethan Bryan. Yeah, so double for right field for uh, Ethan Bryant there. And Miles Ferrer, he's going to be the, the batter here. Swing and tipped into the backstop. Strike one. Miles uh, Ferrer, he has a 333 batting average, so... Fouled back again. Ferrer's got to be careful now. He's got a man on second and two outs. Doesn't want to ruin this great opportunity for Frontier to get back in the game. Brian taking the lead on second. 0-2 pitch from Ingram. High ball one. Yeah, Miles wants to tie this game up here. Oh, yeah. It's got to be smart, though. There he is staying alive with another foul tip into the backstop. Any kind of RBI right now would be something out of his dreams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Help tie up the game in a championship. Yeah. And that is the fourth foul tip yeah. that we've had for this at bat. I think we got a total of five pitches. Yeah, that's right now, yeah, five. Sounds and, uh, about right. One, two count. Ooh, that was a nice pitch, though. That was sunk down a little bit. Just missed and 2-2 yeah. count though. 
came in like just above the letters and then sank down to right in the middle. Oh, oh and he got him swinging. That's Ingram's third K of the day. Yeah, and now on the uh, top of the top of the second inning, Frontier unable to get that uh, run in. No runs, one hit, no errors. And one uh, left for Frontier in the top of the second inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second yeah. inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Leading off for Smith Vocational in the bottom of the second, the left fielder, number three, Pat Millen. Leading off is uh, Pat. Pat oh. Millen, yeah. Left fielder. Oh, was that a ball? I, th I think it was. I think it. <laughs> <laughs> Both busy checking the roster. Yeah. Well, that was a ball. So let's say it's two and zero. Oh. Yeah. Strike, low pitch. So that's 2-1. Two, Make that 2-2. Two, two. Ooh. Swing a grounder to the shortstop. Oh. oh, boy. I think they'll mark that down as an error Yeah. by Cussin. Yeah, well, uh, Millen gets on first. Uh, lead off single there for him, and uh, I'll bring up uh, Jared. Number 17, Jared Bear. Jared Bear. Second baseman, man. Strike one, right down the middle. And there's strike two. I haven't seen a lot of swinging at Skrbisky Bannock's pitches. Yeah, just a lot of calls. We're waiting for theirs. There's ball one. Pop fly way up. Called and caught by Nico Fasulo for the first out. Nice catch there. Right fielder, number six, Zach Brumucci. Yeah, the right fielder, Zach Brumucci, is the batter. <laughs> He's the uh, ether for uh, Smith Vogue. Yeah, swing and strike one. I, I almost wish uh, Keaton James threw it down to, over there at first. Yeah, he might have gotten him, honestly. It's a decent way off the bag. Yeah. And again, James didn't get that pick off last inning. Yeah. When uh, it was Palmer, he stole second. That might have shaken his confidence a little bit. Yeah, who knows? Strike two, called. That 
That one's going to be a ball. <laughs> Looked like it knocked James back a little bit from our angle. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, count. Yeah. Swing and a miss. That's going to be strike three. They'll bring up uh, center fielder, uh, center fielder Carter, Blanchett. Carter Blanchett. <laughs> two gone, or... Uh, yeah, two gone here. Still got a man on first. Millen. Low outside for ball one. Vikings bench making some weird noises coming from there. <laughs> it's going to get by James. And Millen rounding second. Oh, He's thinking about third. Yeah, oh my gosh. He was he like won. halfway to third base yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't see what James was doing back there. We don't have the best angle, but that would have been something. I did that once in a game. I think it was against like Brattleboro or something. <laughs> <laughs> Took off the third because the catcher wasn't paying attention. Oh, and there's a grounder. Oh, gets by the third baseman. Millen is gonna make it a home. And meanwhile, Blanchett gets the third. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Triple there for Blanchett. <laughs> Luce having a rough day out there. Oh my. Well, there you go. That's an RBI triple. The pitcher, number 32. Marshall yeah, so they, and now we're at the top of the batting order. Yeah, and Smith Vogue, they did damage in the first with two outs, and they did damage here with two outs as well, so. Strike one there, and still two outs, but they have a runner on third, so anything could happen here. Fouled off, foul tip, rather. So that'll keep the runner at third. And strike two. Yeah, Marshall Ingram's uh, last at bat, he flew out to right field, so. Looking to change that here. Yeah. Hit his hand. Well, that will uh, bring up Roscoe Palmer. And he uh, hit a ground ball to uh, left field uh, that got up the middle, and uh, he stole a base, so, and yeah. scored a run. <laughs> Dangerous batter there. And... On top of that, he's got two men on base, first and third. Likely it's going to be second and third. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm not not sure what the umps are, uh, they were talking about there, but. Yeah. Frontier's coach just questioned the call a little bit. Yeah. But uh, Possibly. I, I, I mean, mean, I thought it was just a discussion between uh, James and Skrbisky Bannock. Yeah. You know, catcher, pitcher, talk. I mean, uh, Ingram's hand's definitely shaking up a little bit, so 
Yeah, I mean, like you could t just by the sound, you could tell it didn't hit the bat. Yeah. Roscoe Palmer. Looks like they're not going to be so easy on Ingram. Who's on first right now? A lot of the time, you just see them. See, uh, teams let the guy get to second here because you don't want to risk a throw to second. Yeah. If he's stealing. Yeah. So there you go. He just goes straight to second after that pitch. Because if it gets by uh, Gochinski, you know that's just a free run at that point. Yeah, and if you if you throw down to second now. Uh, the, the runner could just take off to home in third base. So exactly, it's not worth the risk. Inside strike call there. So I think that's one one. Runners taking leads. Strike and. Runner doesn't go after the ball pops out of James's glove. So it's a one two count. Yeah, basic could score two runs here. So, Frontier, they want to get out of it. Oh, there's a foul. Into the stands. Hope no one got hit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think it went into the, the the bushes maybe, but yeah, I think we probably would have heard it if someone got hit. You heard, uh, <laughs> heard a loud owl. Huh? <laughs> yeah, or some kind of thud. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. There's ball two. On deck, we got Kaylin Finney, who might end up going up to bat with bases loaded. Ooh. No, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> Strike three called there. Yeah. And that'll end the inning, but another run scored by Smith Vogue. He scores uh, two to nothing. We'll go to the uh, top of the third inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, and Kevin Murphy here at uh, Vets Field. Scores 2 to nothing. Front, uh, Smith Volk on top <laughs> against Frontier. And uh, ball one outside, so. That's Brady Pareda, the right fielder, up to bat for Frontier. Low strike called. One and one count. Swing and a miss. Strike two. And there's ball two. Low outside. You know, I'm not an expert at identifying pitches, Tom, but no. I feel like we haven't seen a huge variety of pitches from either of the pitchers so yeah. far this game. Definitely definitely a couple off speeds from Skrisky, but I haven't, yeah. I haven't seen much from uh, Marshall Ingram. So. No, yeah. I was just thinking the same thing because I've been noticing a lot. He's been – seems like he's throwing relatively the same speed. Every once in a while he pulls the ball to, you know, low outside. Yeah. I think it's a 2 2 count. Pop, pop up out of play. Out, uh, no, we got a full count. Ah. While we were talking, they had a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. So, nice way to start off this inning for the Red Hawks. Full count with their first batter. Yeah, you want, he wants a base hit or. Or a walk. <laughs> there you go. 
gets to first on balls. And now we're back at the top of the order. It's Alex Gochinski who got a single in the Second first inning. Number 11, Alex yeah. Gochinski. Single into left field there, but nothing came out of it. No, they left him stranded out there. There's three outs right after. <laughs> yeah. So there's low pitch number one. Wonder if we'll steal, see a steal here from uh, Pareda. Oh, and there's a hit. Gonna get over the shortstop and third baseman. So another single. Yeah, that one just dropped in there. Yeah. That was like a floater you see with a Frisbee. <laughs> Slow yeah. hit, just <laughs> drifted stop. down. Number one, Nico <laughs> yeah. Looks like uh, shortstop Nico Fasula, he'll be the batter, and uh, his last at bat, he flew out to left field. So he's looking for a hit right now. And now Payne's out on the mound with Ingram. They're having a talk. So... No outs for Frontier. Man on first and second. And Nico Fasulo is up, who is 0 for 1 right now. He popped out to the center fielder in the first inning. High pitch, ball one. Doesn't look like Ingram's checking in on the runners all that much. Just a quick glance. Fouled back over the backstop. You know, this inning frontier, they, they want to do some damage. I mean, yeah. they allowed some in on first and second. It's still early in the game, too. Yeah. If you can catch back up now, that can put you in a really good position. Outside ball. See, that's what I was talking about. It's a little bit low to the outside. Yeah. That just has to do with, like, you know, if I remember right from my couple years of rec baseball, <laughs> that has to do with when you're letting go of the ball. And there's another pop fly by Fasulo. Oh, that one oh, drops. going to drop. Oh, boy. Runners are going to advance. But Pareda's not going to try for home, so we got bases loaded and no outs as Grayson Luce <laughs> comes up to bat. Third baseman, number nine. Frontier, they, they could definitely do some damage now. Oh, yeah. Bases loaded, no outs. This is, this is their opportunity to strike, so they better...
first baseman, number two, Tyler Cusson. So, uh, well, hello and welcome back. We had some uh, technical difficulties. Um, Grayson Luce uh, hit into a double play, and but he got an RBI. So, uh, Frontier, they scored one. It's two to, uh, two to one here in the bottom of the third inning. And uh, uh, he, he hit a grounder. I went to second base. He threw it over to the shortstop at at the base at second, and then he threw it over to first for the double play. And then uh, Tyler Cusson he grounded out to the third baseman there to end the inning. Um, but Frontier they uh, they get one, and uh, here we are in the bottom of the third inning um, with. Uh, Kalen Finnick, the third baseman, to bat. And his, uh, his last at bat in the first inning, he struck out looking. So uh, he's looking to change that here. Um, and uh, here we go. This should be underway very shortly. Strike one called. Inside. Thought it hit him for a yeah, second. Yeah, I thought I thought it hit him as well. Grazes his knee or something. In fact, did not. High pitch. That's ball two. Counts in Finney's favor. Ooh. And he'll hammer it down the third base line. But it'll be foul. I was going some distance if it had gone fair. Yeah. Nice line drive, but stayed foul, so. On deck, you have uh, Caden Payne. And now the count's even, 2-2. Two, two. Got him swinging. Yeah. It's two. I think that's four strikeouts there for Liam Skrbisky Bianic. Yeah. The catcher, Out number one. Number two, Caden Payne. And uh, like you said, the batter is uh, Caden Payne, the catcher, who had the <laughs> <laughs> right RBI there um, to right field in the first inning. And here's strike one against him. Check swing, it'll still be a strike. <laughs> Called time there. Looks like Skrbisky Vanek wasn't happy with 
the options James was giving him for pitches. <laughs> Kept shaking his head. Oh, and there's a hit. Is it going to stay fair? I think it, it won't. M must have gone foul. It was, it was deep into the left field. Yeah. Man. He'll stay alive, though. Count's still 0-2. James having to talk with his pitcher. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going over uh, pitches again. Yeah, it seemed like there was some kind of miscommunication that might have happened during that last pitch. Yeah. That's why they called time. Ooh. On another hit. Similar. Looks like this one's going to be fair, though. He's not going to get to it in time. And it'll be a double. That's a nice double in the left field there for uh, Kim Payne. Yeah. First baseman. So far back, I couldn't even see it. His <laughs> dugout's in the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're currently under the deck next to the press box. So. Yeah. <laughs> Low pitch, strike one. Yeah, James uh, Laval, uh, his last at bat, he flew out to right field to end the first inning. So, he's looking to change that here. Ooh, foul tip. It's a nice, strong swing, though. He wants to send that ball somewhere. And if he gets a good hit with a man on second, that could be another run for the Vikings. Yeah. But there's a pop fly. James. Oh! He, oh, he oh, didn't catch it. I thought he caught it yeah. up against the backstop. I did, oh, too. Oh, God. That would have been something. That was, oh, that was a very unlucky. I think it just tipped out of his glove or something, but maybe like hit the backstop right before it came down. Yeah. Oh. Close, <laughs> close play though. Yeah. <laughs> I almost fall over. <laughs> Wind was taking you away. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Oh, and there's strike three swinging. So two outs. Still got a man on second. Oh, boy. And the wind's picking up, too. <laughs> yeah. That'll bring up uh, Pat left Millen. Fielder, number three, Pat Millen. <laughs> um, left fielder there. He reached first on, a, on an error from uh, the first baseman there. Yeah, second inning. Ball one. James scrambling for it. See, once I mention the win, now it stops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a hit. Nice play. Right to Cussin, and he'll pick it up. Out number three is going to end the inning. That was that was a great play by uh, Tyler Cussin there. We'll go to the, the, uh, the bottom of the third. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left on base. Yep. Well, the end of three complete. Smith Oak two. Frontier one. All right, there we go. So we'll uh, yeah we'll go to the top of the fourth inning. Uh, Smith Oak they're still on top two to one. Um, as nothing happens there in the bottom of the third. And we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Comax Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Comax Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, and Kevin Murphy here at Vets Field. And it's an excellent, excellent night here we got. Off in the top of the 
the fourth four frontier, the pitcher, number 22, Liam Skrabisky Bannock. Liam uh, Skrabisky Bannock is leading off for the uh, Red Hawks here. So last at bat, he flew out to the third baseman. High inside pitch there. Start things off. That'll be ball two. Yeah, that one that one looked good though. Yeah, I thought he was gonna call that a strike. Ooh. Oh boy. Jumped up, hit him right in the face. Oh. He got him, oh my! What a play there. Yeah. I, <laughs> that was Kalen Finney. He bobbled it to start and then picked it up and tossed it over. And it was a very close play at uh, first, but very boy. I don't know how he recovered from that hit to the face so quickly. Yeah. Also one down here. Ball one. Uh, Wyatt Eads is the better. Slash at bat. He uh, grounded to the first baseman. And got on. No, he grounded out to the first base. Yeah, that's what I have to. <laughs> Low inside. See now, now he's overcompensating, Tom. <laughs> he's trying to fix going too far to the outside, so now it's coming into the inside. And looks like White Eads gets on him for a walk, so yeah. it's one gone. <laughs> Quick mound visit. Yeah. Ethan Bryan is the batter, and uh, Doug's going to hit it for Caden James. His last at bat, he had a double to right field. He's one for one on the night, so. See if he can keep that going. The DH, number 21. Yeah, now he's got, he's got someone on base to work with, too. Last time he hit that double, it was just him, and they ended up leaving him on the base. Yeah. Strike one right down the middle. Now Brian's seen it, so hopefully he can find it and drive it. Bit of a check swing. He's going to be safe. So Wyatt Eads is going to steal second. Two strikes on him. He's, he's got to protect now. Ingram checks in on Eads. Pitch from Ingram. Bit outside. That'll be ball one. Nice call there by Bryant. He'll swing at that one. Going to go out over the backstop. That's ball two. Yeah, good battle here. Yeah, that also looked like a good pitch. I thought he was going to call it. Yep. Oh, and there's a pop fly. It's going to go foul, but first baseman running out to get it, and he will. Eads tags up, but he won't go for third. That was real bad. 
So now we got two outs, man on second. And that's Ferreira up to bat. Center fielder, yes. number seven, Miles Ferreira. His last at bat, he struck out swinging, so he's looking to change that here. That was ball one there. Pretty sure, yeah. There's ball two, high inside. He's taking a comfortable lead off a second right now. There's ball three. Yeah, so 3-0, I mean, you're usually not going to swing a 3-0 pitch. No. Yep, right down the middle there. Yeah. So Ingram, he's got a battle all the way back. He's got two outs on his side, though. There we go. Full count, two outs, and a man on a second for the Red Hawks. High throw. Back to the second baseman. Oh. Close play there. <laughs> They've tried to do a trick ball. Uh -huh. Fake the, the throw, kept it in his glove, and tried to tag him, but Eads was back on the bag. Oh. Check swing. He's going to go to first, though. I want to be out the bag. He's off the bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Miles with a with a <laughs> huge amount of speed there as he took yeah. out the first, and uh, so strikeout. But he got reached right first. Fielder, number five, Brady Pareda. He's gonna ground to the shortstop. Throw to first. In time, he got him. Well, so no damage done again. No. And uh, scores uh, two to one. Smith Volk on top. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth where uh, uh, Jared Bear will uh, lead off. We'll be right back. You're watching Front Jacks Maxis Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Team Maxis Television. Uh, Tom Albert Mason Smith and Kevin Murphy. Here at Vets Field, and the batter is Jared Bear. Strike one is going to be swinging. His, uh, his last at bat, he flew out to the shortstop. Oh, he's looking for a hit right now, 0 for 1. Yeah, he's really looking for it. There's strike two, also swinging. Vikings have been pretty aggressive at the plate so far, and it's worked out well for them. Oh. Strike three there. Swinging. Right fielder, number six, Zach Ramucci. So out number one, and uh, the batter is Zach Ramucci, right fielder. Oh, and there's a hit out to center field. And they'll catch it in time. That was Miles Ferreira with the out. And that will bring up uh, Carter Blanchett, who had an RBI triple. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> with the grounder to left field. So. Uh,
Oh, and there's another hit. Pop fly. Right field this time. Pareda gets under it. One, two, three, and they're out. Yeah, that was really quick. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll go to the... Um, go to the uh, top of the fifth inning where the batter will be Alex Gochinski. We're watching Frontier Co Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Alvin, Mason Smith, and Kevin Murphy. The batter is Alex Koshinski, the second baseman. And uh, he's two for two on the night. But they uh, hit to left field in the first and last for the third inning, he uh, had a blooper over the third baseman. <laughs> so it's a 1-1 one, one count there's a pitch in the dirt ball two oh it's going to get by the third baseman Gorchinski rounding first it won't take second. That's going to make him three for three. Yeah, excellent night for Gochinski. And now we've got Nico Fasulo. Number one, Nico Fasulo. <laughs> and the batter is uh, Nico Fasulo. <laughs> well, I think he had a hit into uh, to a right field his last at bat. Yeah, yeah. He's one for two, though. Popped out to the center fielder in the first inning. Hit and run situation there. Gochinski's in time for second. But uh, Sula does his job. He moves the runner. Yeah. Got him out at first, so that would be... One out, yeah. Third baseman, number nine, Grayson Loose. Grayson Loose is, has that only RBI for Frontier, but hit into a double play. That one's filed way out of play. Sounds like it hit a roof. <laughs> Tiny little clank over there. So yeah. Loose working with one strike, one out, and a man on second. And there's ball one outside. There's a hit. High to the center fielder. He'll get it. So that's out number two. And that'll bring up uh, Tyler Cusson, the first baseman. He's last at bat. He had a the first baseman. Grounded out two, to the third baseman. Ooh. Gochinski going to go after the ball gets by the catcher. So he's going to successfully steal third. Well, the runner's there, so. Yeah, <laughs> Gochinski looking to get to home for the first time today. He's already been on third once before. Fouled into the backstop, strike one. Hey, 
There's a hit to the third baseman by Cusson. But the throw's in time, so the run's not going to count. Yeah, and now we'll, uh, we'll on the, uh, the top of the fifth. Four frontiers. No runs, one hit, no errors, one man left. At the end of four and a half innings, Smith Vocational leads 2-1. Yep, so uh, front to their down to their last two innings of hitting, and we'll go to the bottom of the fifth. Score 2-1, to one. Smith Vogue on top. You're watching Frontier Community Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to uh, Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, Kevin Murphy. And uh, top of the order for the Vikings is Marshall or Marshall uh, Ingram. And his last pack, he got hit by a pitch. There's ball one. Just about in the dirt. There's a called strike one. <laughs> Popped out behind him over the backstop. Strike two. I'm gonna have to go see if I can get some food after this <laughs> inning. Getting really hungry and I just saw someone with some hot dogs. <laughs> Counts even 2-2. Two, two. Oh, and there's a hit. Looks like it's gonna stay fair out to Eads. Looks like he made the catch. Sounds like it. <laughs> Couldn't see it, again, because of the dugout. So that's one out down. And now coming up to bat is Roscoe Palmer, shortstop. shortstop. Number eight, Roscoe Palmer. Roscoe. So that's that bad he uh, struck out. And in the first inning, he had a grounder to left field, which ultimately scored a run, so. There's the ball. Was that first pitcher ball? Did you see it? No. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh, uh, it is one and one, yeah. Okay. Like that one and two. Biscuit Bannock starting to think about another one, two, three inning. Yeah. That one's high for ball two there. Now we got an even count. Oh, and now it's full. So one out, full count against Palmer. Ooh, strike three looking. That was a low strike three. Yep. And the batter is uh, third baseman, number twenty-three, Kalen Finney. Oh, you heard it here yeah. first. Yeah, Kalen, Kalen <laughs> Finney, uh, third baseman. Struck out looking in the first and struck out swinging in the third. Could have changed that here. The grounder to loose. And the throw is in time for out number three. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left for Smith Vocational in the bottom of the fifth inning. At the end of five, Vikings two, Redhawks one. Yeah, and another one, two, three inning. For Skrbisky Bannock there, we'll go to the uh, top of the sixth inning. In front of they they need a score run here. Oh, yeah. And uh, looks like 
Risky Manic will lead off, so we'll go to the top of the top of the six. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Three. Hello and welcome back front to Red Frontier Hawks. Community Red Access Red Television. Tom Albert Mason Smith. Smith. Can't say your last name. Mason Smith and uh, Kevin Murphy. You're getting overrided by the guy from up top. Yeah. So uh, Liam Skrisky Bannock is the uh, batter here, and uh, his last at bat he grounded up to the third baseman. That's a pop fly out behind him over the backstop. I don't think either of us caught that first pitch. It's one and one. It's in there for strike two. Mm -hmm. Just starting to become a battle of the pitchers now, Tom. Yeah. Oh, and there you go with a hit. Shortstop calling it. And he's got it. Frontier down to our last five outs. The left fielder, number 15, Wyatt Eads. They really got to come up with something. Now this inning, because you, oh, yeah. There's the hit of the shortstop. He's in time. Another close play <laughs> at first. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, so Roscoe Palmer making two plays there. Get two outs and uh, batter will be Pat. Uh, Designated number 21, Ethan. Bryant. Ethan Bryant. Whoops, I was on the wrong side. Strike one called against Bryant. And there's strike two, low. Ingram is one pitch away from growing one, two, three against the Hawks. There's a line drive. It's gonna drop, and Bryant gets the first. Yeah, you jinxed him there, Mike yeah. Mason. <laughs> I've been told I do that a lot to teams. The center fielder, number seven, Miles Ferreira. Miles Ferreira is the batter. Struck out, but uh, reached first base. He's lost that bat. First pitch was a little bit high. Called it a ball. There's a hit. Line drive out to center field. Bryant's gonna get to second. So the Red Hawks got something going here with two outs. <sighs> Keeping this game nice and tense. Right fielder. Number five, Brady Correda. Strike one. Nice pitch right there. So Perea's got man on first and second and two outs. Whoa. And he'll get it ah. straight to the shortstop. That's going to be the end of that opportunity for Frontier. And we will uh, go to the bottom of the bottom of the sixth inning. Uh, scores uh, two to one. Smith vote on top. So fr in Frontier, they're down to their last three outs. Yeah. So we'll be uh, we'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, and uh, Kevin Murphy. So here in the uh, bottom of the uh, sixth inning, score still two to one. Dowling's in there for a strike, and the batter is Caden Payne. Umpire starting to call some low strikes. Yeah. Uh, 
There's ball one. <laughs> Popped up by Payne. Looks like it's going into the dugout. Ooh. The, hit the bleachers. One and two count. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Skrbisku Banik doing his part to keep the Red Hawks in this game. The first baseman, number 10, James LaValle. And the batter's at James Little Valley. Foul tip for strike one. And yeah, you think he's 0 for 2. Yep, right now. We're going to change that here. There's another foul tip coming right for us. The inning's going in Frontier's favor right now. Ooh. There's the second out. Back to back strikeouts. Well, I can tell you something right now, Tom. Frontier isn't behind because of their pitching right now. Yeah. I think that's seven strikeouts for uh, Skrbisky Bannock there, so. Yeah. Millen fouls it behind him. There's ball one. Skrbisky Bendick's second ball thrown of this side. <laughs> Ooh. Called strike two. It's a Here's the pitch. Hit out to right field. Gonna drop right in front of Pareda and it'll be a single. So we've got an interesting trend that keeps happening, Tom, where they get to two outs and then someone hits a single. Yeah. <laughs> it's happened a lot this game. Yeah. Second baseman, number 17, Jared Bear. Batter Jared Bear. Millen taking the lead. And there's strike one. Bear's last at bat. He struck out swinging, and uh, the bat before that flew out to shortstop. Inside ball. Counts even at one. There's strike two. They're going to keep this alive for the Vikings if they want to try and push their lead. Foul tip, he stays alive. Yeah. Let's go. 
Here's the one-two pitch. Strike three, Ooh. got him. Looking that time. Yeah. Three strikeouts for Skrabisky Bannock. Yeah. And that'll uh, that'll end the inning there. We'll go to the top of the seventh. Um, two to one, Smith Vogue leading. And Frontier, they need a score run to tie it up. We will we'll, we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Alvarez, Mason Smith, and Kevin Murphy. We got a pop fly here. Oh, almost caught for the first out. It's Alex Kuczynski up to bat for the Red Hawks, and they've got just three outs to work with to get themselves back into this game. All they need is one run. Yeah, I mean, Alex Kuczynski, he's, he's got things going, and uh, he's three for three, so. Grounder over to short. I'll be uh, out number one. So that will um, no, there you go. One, Nico <laughs> Fasulo. So Frontier, already one out down. High pitch, going to be ball one. Ingram looking to close this game out. The Frontier doesn't score at all in this top half of the inning. Oh, there you go. There's a hit that's going to drop Shaul in right field. And there's going to be a single for Fasulo, keeping Frontier alive. As I was saying, if Frontier can't score in this top half of the inning, we won't Mason. even have to play the bottom Number of the seven. Nine. Yeah. Mason That'll Luke. be game. Yep. But you never know what could happen. I mean, Frontier, no. Frontier when we uh, we covered the quarterfinal, they scored. Um, oh, he almost picked oh. them off. Sula didn't have enough time to lay out and slide. Yeah. Um, almost cost him there. Whew. We'll try again. Oh. He's still safe. Well, uh, like I was saying, Frontier, they, they scored uh, two runs against Greenfield in the bottom of the seventh inning, so you never know yeah. what could happen to tie it up there. So, After three tries to get Fasulo picked off at first, Ingram will throw the first pitch to Loose, which is going to be a ball. Let's see if we get any more pickoff attempts. Ooh. Called strike one. <laughs> Foul into the backstop. As Fasulo was going to steal second, he'll have to go back to first. So that'll make the count one and two against Luce. Yeah, he's got to protect. Yeah. So Frontier needs one run to stay in this game. Oh, and we're going to have time here as Ingram calls his catcher out to the mound. Payne. Here we go. One-two pitch. 
Oh. Swung on and missed, strike three. Two outs. Well, this is it. Frontier down to their last, hey, last the five here. Baseman, number two, Tyler Cousin. Oh boy. You can't get much more high stakes than this, Tom. No. Low inside, ball one. Yeah, his last two at-bats, he grounded out of the third baseman, so. Yeah. Just hoping for anything that can get you on base. Keep your team alive. Yeah. Oh, I think Fasulo. he's got, ooh. Ooh, high throw is gonna keep Fasulo alive at second. Yeah, if that was a little more on target, I think he had him, but. Yeah. Now man in scoring position, so. Yeah. This is the bat at the, of the night here for Tyler Cusson. There's a strike. Two balls, one strike. Man on second, two outs, the game's on the line. Uh -oh. There's a hit, pop fly. Looks like it's going to the shortstop. And it's an error. Oh my god. Fasulo scores. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. You couldn't have told me that was gonna Oh my god. Holy, holy moly. Error by the left fielder keeps Frontiers alive. Just when you thought it was all over, my God. Oh, oh boy. I thought, I, thought, I thought it was over in that, oh my goodness. So that'll be an RVI single <laughs> off of an error by Pat Millen for Tyler Cusson. And now we have a tie game. Yeah. Two outs. And Skrbisky Vanek has the chance to give Frontier the lead. But now, Tom, remember, Smith Volk still has the bottom half of this inning to take the lead back. Yeah. I mean, they certainly could uh, walk it off in the bottom of the seventh. That would be something to see. What a way to end the Western Mass <laughs> Class C Championship. Yeah. One, one count. Two outs, Tyler Cusson on first. Oh. High pitch swung on. That'll be strike two. They're big at bat here. Counts even at two now. There's a pop fly going to the right fielder. Uh oh. oh he that can't one get dropped. to it in time. Cussin rounds third. He's not going to go for home though. <laughs> Oh my God. Frontier still with two outs. And uh, here comes uh, the coach for Smith Vogue as the winning run or the go ahead run on third base. So, uh, yeah, they're going to have time on the field. Yeah, they're going to take a quick break and. Uh, so will we, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Number 15. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. So, uh, now pitching for looks like number 10, James, James LaVallier, LaVallier uh, will be uh, pitching here now with a go-ahead run on third base for Frontier. For Frontier, now running at first base. 
Number 20, Aiden West. Yeah, Aiden West, he's going to be the pinch runner there over at third. Taking over at first. At first, yeah, yeah, you're right. And there's strike one. So we got a one and one count. Um, I can't tell who's on first, but it looks like um, Ingram, who was the previous pitcher, is at second right now. So Finney is at first now. Oh, and there's a pop fly by Edis going into the stands. So just a quick reminder of where we stand. The score is tied. We've got two outs. Man on first and third. And the count is still one and two. These changes as well in the field for Smith Vocational. Moving from pitcher to second base, number 32, Marshall Ingram. Moving from third base to first base, number 23, Kaylin Finney. Moving from second base to third base, number 17, Jared Bear. Yeats just staying alive Ooh. there. I thought he struck out. I didn't <laughs> see the tip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lavalley taking his time on the mound. Hoping to close this out for the Vikings. Ooh, hammered out, line drive, center field is gonna drop in front of him. And another run's gonna score, Frontier's on top. Oh my goodness, Frontier, they take the lead. Three to two. <sighs> oh boy. So it was just like the quarterfinal. I mean, they were they were down two to two to nothing, but this time they're they're down two to one and they scored two runs. Yeah. Now I've got Ethan Bryan up. Strike one. Bryant's gotten a double and a single in his past at bats in this game. Inside, ball one. Got runners on first and second. There's strike two. One, two count. Runners on first and second, two outs. And Frontier's up three to two now. Oh. Swung on and missed. That'll be strike three, and that's gonna end a very exciting top of the seventh. Yeah. So now the Vikings are gonna get a chance to have a final at bat and come back. Yeah, they, they will have to score one uh, in order to, uh, uh, in order to um, tie the game and go to extras, they'll have to score one. Uh, we'll be right back. We will go to the bottom of the seventh inning. You're watching fr in the uh, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Elver, Mason Smith, and Kevin Murphy. Here in the bottom of the seventh. We're now it's Smith Volk. They got a score run to you. Keep it going. The batter is uh, Zach. Ramucci. Ball's in the dirt. That'll be ball two against Bramucci. Yeah. Who is 0 for 2 so far in this game. There's a hit. Going to go foul. And they can't get to it in time to make it an out. So that'll be the first strike on Bramucci's at bat. Skrbisky Banik had quite a streak going with his strikeouts yeah. past two innings. Oh, and there's a pop fly. Looking to go to the first baseman. Tyler Cusson makes the out. 
And that'll be out number one. Now it's the Vikings that are down to their final two outs. Yep. Quite a turn of events here in Greenfield. The batter is uh, Carter, Carter uh, Blanchett. He's one for two on the night. Nice off. One. Yeah, nice off speed there, though. Yeah. There's a little grounder to the third baseman. Throw to first. In time. Vikings down to their final out. This could be it, Mason. It's going to be the leadoff, man. We're back to Ingram. The second baseman, number 32, Marshall Ingram. Ingram got to keep this alive for his team. Strike one. Two more strikes away from the Western Mass Class C champion. Pop fly. Going to go into the stands. But that'll be strike two. Ingram in a hole now. We're down to this now, Tom. Yep. We'll <laughs> one strike away now, and Frontier will win it. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Ball one. Krabisky Vanek. There's a hit. Right field. Pareda. Yeah. He ends it. <laughs> the Red Hawks from behind in the final inning are the Western Mass Class C champions. Yeah, there we go. And that's they they come back in the bottom of the seventh inning. And in Frontier seven, win it. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left. <laughs> and they will uh, they'll do a little presentation here. Frontier pumped up from that one. Class C baseball championship. The Frontier Red Hawks three. The Smith Vocational Vikings two. Well played, gentlemen. An absolutely <laughs> phenomenal comeback by the Red Hawks, who were down the entire game. Yeah. In just a few can't moments, can't we'll win better than that. Awards presentation. I'd ask the administrators from both schools to please make your way toward the field to assist in the presentation. First for the presentation of the Western Mass Class C finalist trophy for 2023. Would Coach Bonilla and team representatives please come to the home plate area? Yeah, so uh, Vikings will get the runner-up trophy. A 19-2 record, top seed in Class C, not yet done by any stretch with a state vocational tournament coming right up, as well as a trip to the Division Five state baseball tournament. Congratulations, gentlemen. Smith Vocational Class C baseball finalists for 2023. Now for the presentation of the Class C Western Mass Championship Trophy. Would Coach Williams and team representatives please come to the home plate area. Accepting the trophy from Frontier Athletic Director, Mr. Carl Sear. 15 and 6 the record. Looking at the Division 5 State Tournament straight ahead. Western Mass Champions for 2023 in Class C. Here are your Frontier Red Hawks. Yeah, there we go. 
Congratulations, men. Again, both of these teams still with plenty of baseball to look forward to as we head into the month of June. Both headed off to the Division Five State Tournament, Smith Vocational, with a trip to the State Vocational Tournament in between. Terrific ball game with the late inning comeback. Can't beat it for excitement, folks. 3-2 our final, Frontier over Smith Vocational. And that's just game number one of our baseball championship doubleheader here at Vets Field. Set to get underway at approximately 7 p.m., about an hour away. It's the Western Mass Class D championship game between the Pioneer Panthers and the Ware Indians. Pioneer and Ware set to get underway at approximately 7 p.m. All right. So Frontier, they win it in the uh, Western Mass Class E Division Championship. And uh, we'll look forward to their state run <laughs> as they celebrate here. It was definitely an excellent, excellent game all around, Mason. And oh, yeah. way to, one way to do it is come back in the seventh. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly an exciting way. Yeah. So uh, we will uh, we'll see you guys next time. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Thanks and goodbye. <laughs>